Hi Leo, how are you doing? I hope that you are well. Welcome to my channel Energy Everything. My name is Deborah. Thank you. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. I am going to do what I do on this channel because this is my spirit room. So I call in your spirit guides into my spirit room for your highest growth and light and spiritual growth in your life. And we're doing this reading. Uh, for love. Okay, my I'm a little bit scatterbrained. I was like, what am I what am I doing this reading for again? Okay, Leo, this is a reading for love. Okay. So this reading is going to be from the 5th until the 11th of February. And we are going to be looking into you're going to do this a little bit differently. I think if you check any of the other zodiacs I put up this week, we're just going to have fun. So we're going to be checking into your energy, your person's energy, past and future energy. We're going to be doing it in a fun way. I'll show you now. Okay, guys, by the way, this is a general read. So if it resonates with you, then it's your reading. If it doesn't, then you have to let it go. Okay, then it's going to be maybe coming in another time. It depends who it's, which spirit guides come through and what message they need to get through. Let's hope it's your one. Okay. Um... Let's see. Okay, if you like the video, please hit the thumbs up button and you can subscribe and hit the notification bell. You can share, you can comment. I love your guys' comments so much. Um, if you want to, uh, you can also book a personal reading with me. Just check in the description box below. All the information is there. Okay, so I said we're doing this differently. Leo, let's get into it. I'm showing you the cards. So we are going to go through this deck. This is actually one of the fun things you can do with tarot, okay? And we do do this sometimes. Like if I'm playing around with the tarot, what am I looking for? I'm looking for two of cups. Okay. All right. And then we've got two. Oh, wow. Wow, Leo. Your card came up. Hello. This is interesting. It is in your energy as well. Because this is your person's energy. Oh, Leo, this reading is strong. If your card has come up in this reading, then it is a strong reading for you. I love it so much. Okay, we are going to do the same thing. That was a surprise. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. That's fun. I love it when they do that. Leo, you are in your prime. If your card has come up, it is the strength card. I mean, hello. It came up in your position. Um, if this is you, right now, this is your read. Let me tell you, wow, you are feeling... Like the world is falling into place, okay? The world is, you got, you got your stuff sorted. I mean, not that things will be easy. Things are never easy. But I feel like you got your things going. You know what you're doing. I like that so much. You're in your power. You're literally in your power at this point. I like that a lot. Um, there is a two of cups there. So obviously there's a connection with someone. Or is it someone coming in? We're going to actually be able to tell now. Same story. Can I look for the two of cups or the lovers? Okay, let me do this quickly because, yeah, imagine I, whenever I do this, it's like it's going to be right the last card at the bottom of the deck. <sighs> so let's see. We're only going to do this this week and, you know, randomly sometimes for the fun of it because this is like some of the fun stuff that you can actually do with tarot. If you are a tarot reader, you have some tarot cards laying around and you like to do this kind of thing, you can do this. It helps you to kind of like get a little bit of an insight into what kind of relationship we have here. Hello, here we go, lovers in reverse, future energy, mm. hello, this is, you've got to be joking, I'm sitting down, I'm going to go lay down on the bed now, I can't deal, listen Leo, <laughs> you've just got two of cups come out, with two of cups coming out, with the lovers in reverse, with your card on this table, I don't know what that says to you, but hello, what is going on? There is a chariot card in future energy. I think you're about to either meet your soulmate or you have missed your, met your soulmate or your, or I don't know, your twin flame. Or this person is somebody that you have many lifetimes with. I am telling you. There's three cards here that talk about very deep connection. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going, you could have had three lifetimes with this person. This could be a past life connection. This is a very deep connection. I don't know, Leo, this is massive. When I, when I saw the strength card come out there, I was just like, this is something big, okay? And it is, and twice the two of cups comes out. Guys, this is something big. Whomever you are thinking of while I'm doing this reading, pay attention to this person. This is a major play in your life, and not only this life. It is coming through as somebody extremely important to you beyond this time okay this is a beautiful reading i like don't even know what to say i'm quite take i'm like kind of sitting back i'm just like 
what has just happened? Has this person just met their twin flame? If you feel you've met your twin flame, honestly, the way the cards have come out, it could possibly be so. So, Leah, wow, let's look into your person's energy, okay? <laughs> This is, this is insane. I feel like this is a reading for Leos who have just met somebody. Or they're about to just meet somebody. This is like a, a sign. Oh, I'm feeling, I feel like I need to smudge you all. This is like, oh, jeez, Lord. This is like a sign from the heavens, guys. If you haven't just met somebody, or you are, you're going to meet somebody very, very soon, Okay. This is a new person. There's, there's not a sign of any past um, ex anywhere here. Okay. Your connection to this person, let me tell you, when you in, you in, your, you in your zone, you are, you are living your, your truth. I feel that's how I feel it from you. You being busy with yourself, you being working on yourself. Um, you could have been going to gym as well. You could be looking like you could be, you know, getting strong, all those things, because there's a strength card, um, yeah, every way, I feel like you just you, you're just doing you, you're just being Leo, um, you meet somebody, or you've met somebody that's coming in, or someone coming in, someone you've met, whatever, um, it's two of cups, okay, now with the two of cups being in the past energy, this could be somebody that you've already met, guys. Oh my goodness. I actually, forget, I'm actually looking, I'm getting so excited about seeing all of this. I'm forgetting that this is past energy. This could be somebody that you know. And the connection there with this person, it is, this is your dream person. This is your dream person. Um, can I tell you with their energy? Um, there's, they could be a little bit reluctant. I feel they're not ready. They were not ready for this U2 meeting. Um, they got the seven of wands in the reverse energy. So it's almost like it was a surprise when they, you came into their world and you bumped into each other or you met each other however you met each other. It's kind of like a surprise. I don't think they know quite what to do with it. Okay. Um, they could be realizing as well that whatever this connection is between you and them, it is an extremely strong connection. I think they've come to this conclusion that this is not exactly anything I've experienced before. This is something totally new. So even as I'm telling you, this could be a past life connection. This could be a real deep, even twin flame or soulmate connection. I think they themselves have come to that realization that this could actually be something like that as well, even if they may not have said anything to you, okay, but I think it's going on in their head, um, I do feel they feel a little bit defensive, because that is that, the, that energy, um, I feel they are very happy about having, I feel after they've come to this realization that yes, this is this kind of connection, this could be much deeper than what I ever thought, I do feel that they are ready to actually move forward with you. And I feel like it's almost like that, you know, I'm getting really, there's so much stuff coming through here. This is like a really crazy reading, really. Leo. You got me up. You got me like literally tongue tied. <laughs> I like it. It's, it's the, you know what I'm picking up? I feel like this is how your person felt when they met you. They just didn't know what to think. I really like the energy being there. I feel like they, feel now that they've come to this realization of this is this could be the thing this could be something what people actually talk about I could be experiencing this I feel like it's almost like they're going well it's about time hello when was it ever going to happen for me they are ready to move with you okay you know I said to you guys earlier I said like I feel like you've been doing this work on yourself I feel like you've been you've almost goal driven in a spiritual way, in a practical way, in a life way, in a health way even. I'm just picking up everything, you know, and you're feeling it. You're feeling the results of having taken action to improve your life. They, on a way, have been doing this as well because it's like they have been working on themselves and both of you actually, you know, if it's a twin flame connection, it's a mirroring connection of each other. If you improve yourself, your twin flame will also be driven to do improvement. So you are mirroring each other. There's so much mirroring going on in this with these three cards here. Now, another thing. I, I, I never use this. This is my first time I'm ever saying twin flame. Oh, Lordy. 
I have to though. Um, twin flame connections have a very interesting and different way of doing things. They can be difficult connections because of external factors. The soul goes, I know you. I know you, you, me. And recognition is almost immediate. There could have been times before where you've shared past lives but could never come together because there are obstacles to overcome. Now with the lovers being in reverse and with all this year, it's just, it's confirmed. It just confirms it like all the way. And it's like with the lovers being in reverse, okay, there'll always be some kind of thing like a wall that is between twin flames that needs to be overcome. And it's literally the wall itself. It's an illusion that the, both the flames need to realize that that wall is an illusion. I mean, there is a thing with twin flames. They can sometimes be of the same sex because it's, it's never easy. It's always about seeing beyond the physical and the now, our reality, and seeing the soul. And they, it's almost like the universe tests twin flames to see, have you reached the point that you see beyond the reality of the world around us, that you truly see the soul within the person. And that is what this card is telling me. It is like there is this barrier. There is something that causes a barrier, okay? And let me tell you something. There are twin flame connections, okay, that I know about that have age differences that are 20 to 25 to even 30 years age differences, okay? And if this is your connection, you must know nothing, something like that doesn't happen by accident. There's a spiritual understanding. I know a lot of people would freak out about that, but it is there and it's the reality and what the expectations of society have got nothing to do with soul connection, okay? Um, as long as both people are grown adults, okay? Um, it is about... It can be total cultural differences. It can be a very, it's an awkward situation. But the two people that meet do not see that. All they see is the soul in the other. And that is beautiful. And the outcoming, the outcome card is the chariot, guys. Hello. Let me tell you something. I don't, I think, you know, what I know is twin flame relationships bring out all these issues. And sometimes there can be separation and coming back together. And that is even possible, yeah, there could be separation and coming in back together again of an ex-person. But I have a feeling like it's somebody that you know, it's somebody that you just met. But I feel like there's work being done before you meet each other. Because out comes the chariot card. This, you know, I don't know. This is, a, I have to say it's a twin flame reading. I can't help it. Forgive me. But it is, this is a triumphant card. This is a victory card. And what is it to meet your twin flame? It is a victory. It is a triumph. It is an extremely rare thing, guys. It is not as popular media these days has turned Twin Flame into a romance novel that a movie, you know, I met my Twin Flame. Let me tell you, it is not like that. There could be lifetimes of possible passing each other but never connecting, okay? But I feel like there's a connection happening here. This is very beautiful. Wow, spirit guides. This, this card of the chariot, it literally talks about obstacles that will be faced. And this is what I'm mentioning here with this reverse lover card. Um, it talks about you knowing in your heart that you are doing the right thing, no matter what anyone else says. You know, both of you. And that is the, that is the illusion of a twin flame relationship. What ex whatever is being shown on the outside, if you are evolved enough in both of you, are evolved enough, one might be more evolved than the other. Remember, there can even be an age gap here. So um, as long as you're working on yourself, you're actually helping the other one to evolve as well. And it is seeing beyond the illusion of what everyone else sees and seeing the actual spiritual truth. And twin flame relationships are extremely spiritual. And they almost like the ultimate spiritual awakening. Because... Um, yeah, I'm going to say this, hey, because what I know about twin flame relationship, if you actually unite with your twin flame and you come together like this in chariot, it is usually for a bigger purpose on earth. So your purpose when you meet, you will actually be brought together. You succeed with the chariot and being together. 
and overcome whatever obstacles there are, illusions from the reality of our world that puts on to this relationship. And it is like you're either going to be doing something that is actually going to be helping evolution. That's why twin flames come together. Or just your energy of being together helps to evolve. Um, it's a very deep reading here. It helps to evolve consciousness on our planet. But what you should know, if this is a successful union, um, I don't know if you've ever read this or ever heard about this, but most of the times, I mean, this is what I understand, okay, is that this would be both of your guys' last um, time on our earth, literally. You will not be reborn again once you meet your twin flame. This is the last time, guys. This is the last roundabout. I mean, if you believe in reincarnation, I as a person do. I see it every time in my readings. And if this is a true twin flame connection, it is the chariot, it is the lovers in reverse, it is a two of cups, it is the two of cups, it is your card, Leo, that I am reading for. I don't know how much more synchronicity must come out onto this table. And that is another thing as well. Synchronicity is happening in this reading. And that is one of the signs perhaps that is happening in your connection as well. There's so much synchronicity. There's so much weird, odd things that keep popping up. And those are the signs of twin flame relationships. You think about your person, they contact you in that moment. There's that connection. This is a wow, guys. This is a very specific read. If it's yours, you will know. And... Um, Go for it. I'd say go for it. This is a if it's a twin flame connection like this, you have been blessed. They feel it that they have been blessed. They feel like it's their time. They feel like as you are feeling, it's a it's due time. It could even be soul recognition saying it's about time now that we come together. Wow, Leo, I don't know. This is the first time I ever I'm going to put a heading of a video twin flame connection, but I cannot deny it in this one. Spirit guides guide these two to see beyond the, the veil almost of the illusion of our world and into the real reality because this is what will happen. If you guys remain together, you're going to see so many spiritual shifts in your own understanding. It's almost like enlightenment, guys. Wow. I'm, wow. I feel quite like wow you know so there you guys go this is your not so tiny because i don't think this is going to be only for this week i think this is going to be a kind of theme that runs through possibly this whole entire year guys sending you light and love thank you for watching bye